Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, I want to freshen up the interior of the Jaguar F-Type, protect the leather and vinyl surfaces as well. And today, I want to use the Color Lock New Leather Care Kit. This is the mild kit. They have a mild and a strong. Uh, the interior is just very lightly soiled, some body oils and, and light contamination. I want to clean that up and protect it. You're going to get about three months or so out of this kit here. Uh, you can use this for new vehicles or to maintain an existing coating uh, on leather seats. Uh, don't forget, Modern Leather has a top coat that is uh, their version of a clear coat for leather, and it uh, protects them from spills, UVA, UVB, and other contaminants. The kit itself contains a mild leather cleaner, a little over four ounces, and that teams up with a cleaning sponge. And you also have a uh, about a five ounce bottle of the leather shield, which is a sealant. And you can team that up with the viscose cloth to get it applied. The whole kit is under $40, 37 or 38.99, depending on where you look. I purchased mine from Detailed Image. Uh, you can use this kit for car leather, furniture leather, and airplane leather. Let's get ready to protect the vinyl and leather. And to do that, everybody does it a little bit differently. I like to start off with compressed air and work any grit or um, dirt or dust out away from the seams and in between the patches or panels. You can use a vac cleaner. I normally try to stay away from any crevice tools or um, the end of a vac unless it is protected with a uh, very soft rubber and that will keep you from scuffing the leather. I'll just move the seat front and back and lay it back and lay it forward and get as, uh, as much of the exposed leather as I can and clean between the stitches, between where the, uh, the patches of leather or vinyl come together. Uh, that's where uh, it rubs together and if there's grit stuck in between those area, uh, with you sliding in and out of your vehicle as you enter and exit it, uh, those areas will wear down quickly. So I go after them first, clean it out, and then it's time to break out the foaming uh, gentle cleaner. This is, again, the mild kit. So this has a mild cleaner, and you can get a strong kit if you have a heavily soiled interior. Instead of the sponge that they give you, uh, for the seats, I'm going to grab my rather soft uh, detailing leather brush and scrub at it. Scrub uh, around the stitching in between the seams and really give it a nice deep clean. Pulling the seams apart as far as I can for that nice deep clean and uh, going all the way around the seats starting with the base of the seat and the bolsters then I will, again, move the seat back and forth, lay it back as far as I can, move it forward as front as I can to get as much of the exposed leather as possible. I will then mop up the foam and the liquids left over and the dirt that I could have agitated free from the leather with a damp microfiber towel. Not dripping wet, just run it under a cold tap and wring it out so it's just slightly damp. And just continue that process one patch or piece at a time uh, all the way around the seats. Time to move on to the protectant, the sealant itself. And you do get a few cloths with it and you can fold that up into squares to uh, apply the product and the sealant. That cloth is rather dry, so prime it first and it will absorb a little bit. So drip a lot into the little cloth as you have it folded up 
and start to apply it as evenly as you can, uh, one panel or patch at a time, and pull apart where the stitches and seams are so you can really get in there and protect every square inch. Just like many coatings available, it will go on at the, the very start, a little bit glossy. Don't panic at all whatsoever. It will cure to a nice satin sheen. Uh, you can follow up, and I will here, with a microfiber, a dry microfiber, and buff out any high spots I may have left behind. The kit is really a piece of cake to use. Just take your time and make sure you're getting a nice even layer of the sealant on the leather or vinyl. And then before I move on to the seat backing, I will go over the area I protected uh, very lightly. Just drag the towel lightly over the surface to level uh, the sealant. And then simply just keep on moving. And again, I'll be moving the seats forward, backwards, tilting front, tilting back, trying to protect all of the exposed leather that I can reach. The seats are cleaned and protected. Let's move on to other areas that we make contact to in the vehicle and can get dirty and may need a little bit of protection. Every once in a while, someone might uh, rest their arm up on the door panel armrest, so we're going to clean that area and surrounding areas. And since they are either leather or vinyl, we will protect them as well. I will team up that uh, foamy cleaner, the mild foamy cleaner, with the foam pad that comes with it. Follow that up once again with the damp microfiber to mop up uh, dirt and foam and liquids left over. And then it is time to protect. Um, when I'm doing this, I will wipe and make sure it's completely dry. If I do have to follow up with another dry microfiber, I will do so. You don't want to lay any coating or sealant down on a damp or a wet area. Uh, make sure it's completely dry. Some also tend to rest the arm on the center console lid for uh, the compartment. Uh, when I drive, I try to make a conscious effort to tuck my arms in so they're not resting on those areas. And that way the uh, leather or the dye will not get worn down. Um, what do you guys, uh, do you guys do that as well? Just kind of drive, keeping your arms maybe on your laps or tucked in just to keep those areas looking pristine and clean.
And finally, I've been looking forward to giving the steering wheel a nice scrub, get it squeaky clean. I'm going to skip the sealant on the steering wheel. Um, I don't want any slippery material. The coating or the sealant won't make the leather or vinyl extra slippery. You will feel a little bit of a difference, especially on the seats. Um, I would definitely skip the steering wheel or any uh, uh, shift handle or even the parking brake if it's wrapped in leather or vinyl, everything else you can protect. And there we have it. In no time at all, we have the interior nice and fresh and squeaky clean. We have it protected and we use the Color Lock Leather Shield uh, and cleaning kit, the mild cleaning kit. Again, under 40 bucks, not bad. Uh, keep the sealant on hand. Uh, the Cleaner is a great thing to keep on hand as well for any plastic or vinyl or leather. And reapply that sealant maybe every three, four, or five months and you'll be in good shape. You can also use the sealant to maintain a leather coating, a full-blown coating, a long-term coating for leather and plastic. That will do it for this video. If you have any questions at all on the Color Lock Leather Shield Mild Cleaning Kit or want to share your experience, put it down below in the comments section.